morning. Today is November 30th, the day before Vlogmas. And I thought I would just record a quick little video for you guys just to show my advent prep. I have quite a lot of advents and advent knitting that I'll be doing along with gift knitting. So I wanna make sure I'm ahead of the game. I wanna make sure I get my bags and my needles all ready and fully decide on the patterns that I'm using for my advents. And I do, I also have one of those stripe a day socks for advent and I want to make sure and try and get the cuffs done so that tomorrow I can start off strong for the first day of vlogmas and advent and just hit the first stripe right away instead of worrying about the cuffs. Um, I think that's it. It's a busy day for me. I also have work and carpet installers coming from the basement. Um, so I'll show you the before and after on that one. I'm very excited about it. So just go ahead and follow me along. Just quick little video showing my advent prep. Hope you like it. everyone a quick rundown on the yarny advents I have I also have two non yarn advents downstairs one is David's tea one and the other one is a jam one I'm super excited about both of those as well I went a little crazy on advents this year obviously it's 2021 you know you just gotta do what you gotta do to get through right and look forward to December Okay, so first up, I have my Chelsea Lux 24 day advent that comes with a full skein. I got the sparkly base for that one. I have a 2019 advent from Chelsea Lux. It was my first ever one, which, which was also a sparkly base. And I have not used that. So I'm combining that into this giant blanket that I'm planning on making. Um, I haven't even opened any of these boxes yet. I wanna be completely surprised tomorrow when I open my advents. For the boxes and then this one right here is my rising tide fiber co 24 day advent plus full skein and that is the bridgerton theme super excited about that one um i obviously already started my wool and ganache so these are three stripey socks advents guys three i've got wool and ganache freckled whimsy and this is zebra yarn so this one though for zebra yarn is different because you start that on December 25th and it's a 12 days of Christmas um, so 12 stripes advent game so this one I don't even start till the 25th so I'm okay with that one so that will just sit here till Christmas these two though are the same and honestly look at all this knitting and I've got gift knitting and I have my desert Mesa dye works December socks I still have to make so I'm not gonna open this try not to open this freckled whimsy one um, and I plan on making this one maybe like a January, like I'll knit a stripe a day in January, like just to make the fun keep going on after these socks. Then I have Woolens and Nosh. This is my stripey advent I'm going to be doing. Woolens and Nosh is so cool. So it came with a mini, but also it comes already pre-wound in these two skeins in a bag so you can't see. So cool. And then each color stripe is separated by a white, like a thin one row of white so you don't see the next day's color until you're actually pulling it out the next day. It's so cool and it comes with a cute bag. So I've already started cuff number one. I'm going to knit these in tandem. So I'm going to have two nine inch circulars going on. I'm almost done with the first cuff and then I'll hopefully finish the second cuff tonight. If not, get really close so I can finish it in the morning and start right away on my first stripe. And this is like the little charm that came with it. That set, isn't that cute? This is from Knit Boop. Love it, so cute. Okay, moving on. Here is my Pearl Smith 12 day advent. This is um, stitch markers. So I will not be opening that. I think I'm gonna open that towards the second half of the month because it was a half advent. So 
I'll start that on the 13th. And some of them came with necklaces, but then I um, got the very last one. There was, wasn't any ones with necklaces with them. So I went ahead and purchased the necklace separately. And um, so I have those to go together. So I'm not even gonna open that, even though I picked it out <laughs> until I open this out of it. It's so pretty, look at that. That nice and then this last but not least this is from Anna from zebra yarns um we did a scrappy swap advent um it's gonna be so cool I haven't even opened this at all and I don't think Anna's opened mine either so hopefully it's gonna, I'm gonna open it tomorrow it's gonna be such a huge surprise I cannot wait to open my advents tomorrow yay so now I'm just getting right now I'm getting um the bags ready for all of these and I think I have all the patterns already downloaded I'm trying to make sure I have all the needles the blanket for that I don't the needles I don't have I don't know if it's like a sign telling me not to make that one blanket <laughs> or not I guess I'll just see tomorrow I think I'm gonna try it out like start it tomorrow and if it doesn't work I'll just switch something else I have tons of advent patterns that I was looking at so maybe we'll just switch but anyways, there's my Yarny Advents for 2021. I also forgot to mention one more Advent. This one is a Sunday Advent. Um, so the four Sundays of Advent. So each Sunday we open up a new skein and there was a mystery, basically knit along pattern. It was with Rising Tide by Brico and we got to choose if we wanted to do a knit kit or a crochet kit. And I chose Knit Kit because my girl, Raging Pearl Win, designed the knitting pattern. And then I went ahead and chose um, Evergreen Speckled. There was four different colorways you could choose from. There was Blue, Cranberry, Evergreen Speckled, and Gingerbread Speckles. So I chose Evergreen. And then it came in this cool little kit. We did really awesome tea drops. And then... Each one of these is labeled one through four. And the Sunday advent started last Sunday. So I already opened, but I've not started the pattern yet. And Rebecca's calling it Merrily, which is that not just the cutest name? So I'm using one of my new Scrappy Angel Christmas bags for this one. So here was the first one. So the first three skeins are gonna be 50 gram skeins, and this is a DK weight, DK weight pattern. And then the fourth skein is gonna be a full 100 gram skein. So it's just color A is all it says. It's on our Calvert DK, Rising Tide Fiber Co. There's her logo. I love her yarn. Isn't that pretty? I love this. So I need to, I've already got, I mean, I've got the my needles in there and she emailed clue one on Sunday, so I'm ready to go. I just need to go ahead and wind this up so I can start this shawl did i say it's a shawl pattern <laughs> this is a shawl pattern and it's really cool it's when i open up clue one i'm not gonna like discuss too much of it but it's a winged triangle shawl which i have never made before i'm so excited i love trying new things so there's that and then i also have my desert vista dive work socks so this is another new scrappy angel christmas bag um you can save 10% on any of Scrappy Angel stuff with Chickpea 10 if you guys want to order. She still has tons of um, Christmas bags. But that's the um, my Desert Vista Dye Work socks that I've chosen. I need to wind these up too so I can start them tomorrow. Who knows if I'll start them tomorrow, but I have to knit them. It's my very last one. This will be my 12th pair for this whole year for Desert Vista Dye Work. So exciting. So this is a cool one. I really like this one. This is These are 250 gram skeins. They're the same colors, but one has a thick stripe sequence and the other one has a thin stripe sequence. So cool. So I'm gonna make one of each obviously and have one foot be the thin stripe and the other foot be the thick stripe. It's gonna be so cool. I'm excited. That'll be fun. And this one is called Holiday Stripe. So that will be in there. And I already kind of showed you but this, well, this bag. Oh my gosh, that's cute. I got a little bit of hair, little fuzzies on it. Look at the snowman. So it's perfect height, perfect to fit my woolens and nosh bag in here. Oh, and then the little kit also came with some caramels. I have not even opened, I need to eat these. But I got my other needles in here. 
because I've got two I'm going to do these in tandem. I'm going to finish the first one first. So that's one that was by Reds Lady Creates. I'll try and tag the table below. I think she's still got Christmas bags in her shop too. And they're very affordable and she ships really fast too. And then, so we're talking about that blanket. So here is my blanket tote. <laughs> it's the same fabric as this because I loved it so much. Um, and this is what's going to put my Chelsea Lux um, advent in because I have two advents I'm putting in here. I'm putting in my old advent from 2019 and then my this year's advent. So these are the 2019 ones. Look at the sparkle, you guys. Oh, like randomly, I would just look in here and like feel them and look at them because <laughs> they're so pretty. <laughs> And like never use them. 2019 guys. Look at that full skein. Just look at the sparkle. Mary. Oh my goodness. And this was her very first one that she ever dyed. At, not this specific one, but the very first advent year was 2019. So it was really cool because what she did was she did like a mix of new colors for Christmas and also a mix of her like fan favorites, which was really cool. So I have all of these that I'm going to put into the blankets. And the advent I got from her again is another sparkle base. So it's going to be a super sparkly, amazing blanket. <laughs> it's going to be so pretty. Like everything is super sparkly. Oh my gosh. So I think what I want to do, because I, I want to go ahead and put these in the bag right now and keep them together, but I want to make sure I remember um, what year which one was. I don't think it says. I was going to go through and mark with like a, I brought a pen over, I was just going to go through and write on these 2019 so that I knew these were 2019 colors and not my 2021 colors. So I can keep them separate, kind of even though they're wearing in the same blanket. But then I kind of wanted to mix them up. I think I wanted to like mix up the years in the blanket. Like I didn't want to do one half one year, one half the other year. Not that it probably matters. I think only knitters overthink it like this. <laughs> but yeah, I really like this color actually. Isn't that pretty? What's that called? Christmas sweater, I think. That's pretty, I like that one. So many good colors. Okay. So I'm going to go through it and just write down the year on these just so I know which one's which. And then I'm going to go ahead and put them in that bag. So, but you know, you have to wind them up before you can start. So I always get those wound up and put in my bag so that I can just grab them whenever I'm ready. I'm gonna go ahead and wind up this skein. This is the full skein from Chelsea Lux, my 2019 advent, because this, I already looked ahead in the blanket pattern, which is Arabian Tales. You have to cast on a base row, like all the way across, even though, I'm gonna include some pictures right here, but you can see how there's like a leaf or like a butterfly type or like mermaid tail pattern. So I'm gonna have each mermaid tail be a different color, but then the base of that when you first start has to all be one color all the way across. And I don't wanna do a whole, a whole row of one color. Plus I don't think a mini will even go that far. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and wind this one up and this will be my base color and then I'll just make sure on the opposite end I leave off a, like one row of the full skein of this year's advent. It'll kind of match that way. That way I can go ahead and get started on it because I need to have a base row done before I can even start. save 
um, all my scraps, so like all the little leftovers I snip off from like the ends I weave in and also from like when I wind the yarn. I save all those for an ornament for my advent knitting. So if you guys want to do that, go ahead and make sure you save um, all your scraps. Thank you.